Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Avada here. In this video series, I will be showing you how to use Avada to create a full multi-page website from scratch. This series is aimed at both beginners and more intermediate Avada users. Just as a quick teaser, the site is going to look something like this. Nice, huh? And building from scratch doesn't necessarily mean building everything manually. We will be working smarter, not harder and taking advantage of great time-saving features like the Avada Setup Wizard and Avada Studio, both of which can greatly reduce the time it takes to build a site. Our starting point for this video series is a fresh WordPress installation with the latest version of Avada installed. To get to this stage, please follow the Getting Started with Avada video playlist, linked below. For this course, if you want to follow along and build it with me, you could work on a live site, or you could install a local server. ZAMP and MAMP are common options, but there are a lot of alternatives depending on your platform and preferences. Local is another popular choice, and it's very easy to set up. I have ZAMP installed here, and so I'll be using that for the course. I'll add some links below the videos for some more information on the various options. During the course we will touch on many topics, from using the setup wizard, setting global defaults, building and customizing Avada layouts, creating pages and menus, image sizing, building pages with the Avada Builder, configuring the blog, creating Avada forms, responsive editing for tablet and mobile, optimizing the website for speed, and a whole lot more. As we will be building an entire website, we will cover most areas of the Avada Website Builder. And when we've completed the site, we'll do a site review. Of course, as well as this, there'll be lots of other tips and tricks along the way, including best practices and ways to streamline your workflow. If you want to build this site along with me, all you need to follow along is a clean WordPress install and the latest copy of Avada. I have also provided a link to a zip file with the assets I'm going to use in the build. You can find that in the description below the video. Lastly, I highly recommend that you watch each video all the way to the end, and in the correct order, as skipping steps may result in some unexpected results. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one, and if you don't want to miss one, Click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. In this first video of the series, we are going to begin with a style guide developed from a design brief, and then get going with the site by running the Avada setup wizard. For this project we are building a small business website called Avada Painter and Decorator. I have a design brief to work from, which is the starting point for all my design considerations. Working from this brief, I have developed a style guide to inform the build and the design choices along the way. It's always a good idea to have a style guide to work from, as it takes some of the guesswork out of the process, and provides a basic design approach from the very start of the build process. If we look at the style guide I have created for the site, we can see the logo and favicon at the top. Horizontal logos like this are often best for websites rather than vertical ones, as they can take up too much page real estate. The site logo is always a good source for your global colours as well, and here the primary colour for the site is one of the greens from the logo, with the pale green from the logo as an accent colour, and the bright yellow as another accent. Usually a main colour and an accent colour or two is all that's needed, along with white, black and greys, or subtle tones based on the primary colours. Ok, so now we have the style guide to inform our choices, let's get started with the site by running through the setup wizard. This starts automatically with a clean install of Avada, but you can always bring it up again from the link on the Avada dashboard if you haven't yet registered, or from the status tab found at Avada status, or from maintenance status from the Avada dashboard. I'll just click get started to trigger the wizard. I'll register my copy of Avada, and the wizard moves to step 2, setup type. So here I want to choose new website as the setup type and let's call the site Avada Painter and Decorator, and give it a tagline of not just another WordPress site. Ok, I'll click on next step, and this takes us to the website colors page. I know my primary color is green, so let's filter the color sets to that. And this one at the bottom right also has a yellow as the secondary color, so let's start with that palette and customize it from there. I'll just click on customize here, and start with my three specified colors from our style guide. Color 5 is the primary color position, so I will paste in my main green here. And color 4 is the secondary or highlight color position, and here I want the yellow. The color palette is designed to be set from lightest to darkest, so I will set the light green in the color 2 position. 
So now I have white at colour 1, light green at 2, a mid-tone grey at 3, my secondary and primary colours at 4 and 5, then two darker greens at 6 and 7, and a very dark grey at colour 8. I think these colours will work just fine. For a light website, colour 5 will usually be used together with colour 1, the lightest colour, and the highlight colour, colour 4, will typically go together with colour 8, the darkest colour. If we scroll down a bit, we can see these combinations here, and see from the accessibility recommendations that our contrast and order choices are either acceptable or excellent. I'm happy with that, so let's go to the next step. This takes us to typography. There are a lot of sets to choose from here that mix a variety of heading and body fonts. If you have a specific font you want to use, you can set that in the global options after running the wizard. But here you can just visually choose something you think will match the logo and the style of the site. So many to choose from. These fonts can easily be changed later on in the global options, so there's no point spending hours here. I like the look of this one back near the start, so I think I will start with that. I'll leave the base font size at 16 pixels, and I will use major third as our heading sizing ratio. Again, we can always tweak this later in the typography global options. Okay, the next step takes us to the website layouts page. Even though we are building this site from scratch, there's no need to do everything from the ground up. Here we can choose a header and footer that's close to what we want and then customize them, rather than fully build them manually. I'll just click select header, and this previews all the available Avada Studio headers. There are a lot of headers to choose from, and to get a full size preview you can just click on them. This one's a bit basic for what I want, so I'll just click on go back. I generally like a sticky header, so I might filter to those, although you can always make a header sticky if it's not already. Looking at these, simple header 229 here looks pretty close to what I was thinking of, so I will just preview that. What's important here is that I choose one with the right overall layout and structure. I like this one as it has contact links at the top, and a button we can use to trigger a quote form. Yeah, I think I will use this one. The import options are along the bottom here in the preview, and I want to make sure it's on local colours and typography here. That means it will use the colours and typography I've set in the wizard. There's also an option to use placeholders for images, which I will do, and an option to invert the colours. That would be good if you were making a dark site, but I don't need that for my site. OK, let's select that, and it's added to the wizard to import. Under this is an option to add my logo. I'll just click on the plus symbol, and select my logo to upload. Once that's done, we can move to the footer. The footer selected by default has too many menus for my site. So again, let's have a look at the Avada Studio options here. There are a fair few footers to choose from, but here I like the look of this one called Agency Footer 998. Like the header, it displays contact details prominently, and there's a button as well, and the two menus will also work here. The import options are good as is, and so I can just select it. OK, now we have set our header and footer, let's go to the next step, which is Website Content. Here we can select pages and other features that the wizard will add to the site. Home, blog and contact are selected, which will work for my sitemap, but based on our brief we also want a shop, services and a reviews page, and so let's add those at this point. I also want some more service pages, but they will be sub-pages and so I'll set them up manually. Services and reviews are simple pages, but when you add a shop, the setup wizard selects the WooCommerce plugin to be installed, it creates customised shop, cart and checkout pages, postcards and layouts for single products and archives, as well as a layout for a custom thank you page. It's a fully fledged WooCommerce store, ready for you to populate. I can also import dummy content, which as the description says, creates dummy blog posts, portfolio posts and WooCommerce products to populate the feature layouts. In our case that would be some shop products and some blog posts. So let's leave that selected so we have something to start with there as well. The wizard will also populate our pages with these selected feature layouts you can see here. This gives us a head start with page content, but we can just delete them entirely, or in part, as we wish as we build the pages. It's a great head start for page design and provides some great inspiration. If we look at the bottom of the page we can see there are some required features selected ready to install, and I think these are all the right choices. Shop is already selected, and we will need forms, and even though I'm not sure if we will have an off canvas yet, let's activate that here anyway. 
I would also enable maintenance mode at this point if I was working on a live server. See the link below for more information on that feature. OK, next step, and this brings us to the complete setup page. The setup wizard has all the information it needs, so now I just need to click the button, and away we go. That takes about a minute or so to run. And when it's done, I come to a final page with lots of useful links. We can launch the Avada Live Builder, or visit the site on the front end, and there are links to customization options like layouts, menus, and global options. Or you can also go and create an Avada account, or head to documentation videos or support. Lots of choices, and these are all destinations we will need at some point. But at this point, let's have a look on the front end and see what the wizard has created for us. I'll just click this Visit Site link up here, and our front end loads in another tab. And here it is. This will be our home page. The setup wizard has added the header we selected, and as we can see, it's also displaying the pages the wizard created. As we scroll down the page, we can see there is a lot of layout content on the page, with many interesting design ideas that we can either use or delete as we see fit. When I get near the bottom, we can see some dummy blog posts, and below that we can see our selected footer is also in place. There is also content on the other pages, but we will see that as we go along. OK, that's a great start for building a new site. As you can see, the setup wizard gets you up and running very quickly and efficiently, with colour and typography set, and a site ready to edit. There's still a lot to do, of course, but we have a functional skeleton site, and in no time at all. OK, let's stop here. In the next video in this series, we're going to customise our header and footer, and sort out our pages and menu. See you there. OK, this concludes part one of our video on building a website from scratch with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.